So guys, before the year ends, I thought I would give you this episode on how to pull a Liz. So this part of my travel buys with Liesl81. Um, in case you're asking yourself, if I have a German passport, do I need a visa for Australia or New Zealand? I'll be answering that live and direct with my experience. So I booked the flight to go see my sister in New Zealand over Christmas and since I'm already coming all the way down here, I thought I've never been to Melbourne. I've heard so much about Melbourne. Let me go to Melbourne for a week from Auckland. So it was when I decided I wanted to book the flight from Auckland to Melbourne that I thought, hmm, can I just show up at the airport and, you know, present a ticket and I'd be able to do that. And then I googled and I saw that I needed to have even on the German passport a visa for Australia before even getting to the country and then I thought oh let's look if that's the situation for New Zealand as well and it turned out you do need the NZ also for New Zealand so on the same day I did both applications the NZ came out an hour later it was a Saturday um, for the Australian one, <laughs> I actually made a mistake on the application. So I waited five days and I didn't hear anything. And I was like, what's going on? So I called them, I asked, and then I reread my entry and I was like, oops. So I went in, corrected it, or I got it. But that's just simply to answer the question. Even if you have a German passport, you still need to get the entry visas like the e-visitors visa for Australia and the NZ for New Zealand and I got lucky enough I did that before showing up at the airport because you have to have them before you can board the flight and um, I remember the week before <laughs> so just in case you're wondering do you need anything extra apart from your passport and your ticket return ticket you do need to have the entry document in form of the NZ or the e visitors visa. Before the year ends, I hope you're all having a fantastic second to last day um, and that you're getting ready to cross over magnificently. I'm doing this on the Web Bridge in Melbourne to celebrate that I actually <laughs> fixed the error that was keeping uh, the permit that long. Okay, let's go finish this walk. Look at the background. It's been windy, but it's still good. Thank you very much for listening. It's Liz. Okay, so this is the tram network. They have a really extensive one. You can see here, it's going a bit from here. Different tram routes and let's get you going. I know, low battery. There you go. So that's an old one, and we're lucky enough. Whoa, okay. It's rather very loud. Um, and that's the newer one. There you go.